Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am in the same place where I filmed the Stanley review video a couple months ago. So today we will be comparing the Stanley Cup against two of its dupes. But before we get into the video, I wanna announce that I am doing a 1K giveaway because we have officially reached 1K subscribers. I don't think I can express how much it means to have all 1K plus of you here. It was such a huge milestone for me to hit and I am just, honestly, I'm so ecstatic. So in order to give back to you all, I wanna do a giveaway. The giveaway that I'm doing, I feel like is exciting if it's really well into this video. So how we'll be doing this is I will be reviewing three cups today and I will be giving away the choice of whichever three to the winner. So a brand new one, of course, in whatever color you want, but we are going to be reviewing the Stanley, the Simply Modern, and the Reduced Tumbler. And by the end of the video, we will have compared them on a ton of different features and functionality. And at that point, you can choose which one you want. The giveaway will run for two weeks from the post date of this video. And in order to win, you just need to be subscribed to my channel. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at with love Savannah. That's how I will notify the winner. And then you also just need to leave a comment below. It can be whatever you want. And then once you win, you can let me know which one you want. Good luck everybody. Now let's get into the review and the comparison. The handled Stanley Tumblr has been popular for so long now that other brands are catching on and are making dupes of their own at a fraction of the cost. So it begs the question of when you purchase a Stanley Cup, are you paying for just the logo or is the quality really better? All of these tumblers are 40 ounces, dishwasher safe, and cup holder friendly. The cup we are comparing the dupes to is the second version of the Stanley, so the one that is more on the leak proof side. And for the 40 ounce, this cup generally comes in at $45. However, this is a soft matte version, so this one actually comes in at $50. So this is definitely a higher price point than some of these other ones I'm going to show you. The Simple Modern comes in about $20 cheaper than this specific cup at a $30 price point. The Reduce comes in even less expensive at $25. That's what I paid, but I am seeing that some places it's $20 right now. So maybe you can catch this one on sale if you're interested. But the Simple Modern and the Reduce can be purchased at both Target and Amazon. I will link all three cups below in the description in case you're interested in getting any of them after the video. In this video, we will be seeing how all three cups compare on a leak test and how they hold ice cubes. But I just wanna mention first that if you are looking just for the Stanley Cup, like if you're really just interested in this, I did a very detailed comprehensive review of this. I will link it in the description box below in case this is really what you care about. All of these cups come in a variety of colors, which is really cool at this point. The lid. So this is something that's a bit different between all three of these. This lid has a quarter turn lid technology, kind of similar to the Stanley. So basically what that means is you can position the lid, like depending on how you put it on, you can position the lid to be in a different spot for how you want to drink based on if you're left-handed, right-handed, just like where you want it to be. Now the Stanley is similar where it does kind of screw on the same way, but I believe that this one has three different positions, whereas this one has four. All right, as I already mentioned, in case you missed it, I said it quick. They are all dishwasher safe and they are all cup water friendly. And very important, the Simple Modern says that it will stay cold for 24 plus hours, which is really good. While the Stanley only claims to be cold for 11 hours, but it does claim to hold ice for two days. So we're gonna see how these stack up. Moving on to the back, this one is 100% stainless steel, rust proof, it is BPA free, and it has a sweat free design. Now this one has a similar kind of texture to the normal Stanley where it's like that like you can kind of hear it's like that typical yeti like just like that typical stainless steel sort of material this one that i have is a little bit different because it's soft matte so you know kind of can't really compare that back to the design so it says thank you for supporting an independently owned small business so you're supporting a small business with this cup it is designed in oklahoma made in china and it says we exist to give generously 10 percent of the profit is given away if you go to simplemodern.com forward slash giving you can see where that money is going all right so that was a bit on features now i'm gonna give you a better look at the cup itself. First thing you'll notice is the straw positioning is like a little bit farther in, not a whole lot, but it's a little bit farther in than the Stanley, which is kind of right here at the end. Another thing you'll notice is the Stanley has this three quarter turn lid. So where this piece actually moves, so there's right here is a straw hole, what I just took out, and then you can move it. And then the, this is for you to have like a chug lid if you wanted to drink it like this. And then this is a spot where it is completely closed. The Simple Modern is a little bit different because it doesn't do that. It's just simple. It only has this one hole. There's nothing you can do as far as closing it off or anything like that. So we'll see how these compare on the leak test. The next thing to note is that this one on the lid just has a little SM for Simple Modern, kind of similar to how the Stanley has its little bear logo right there. One thing that's the same about this is the handle is completely closed in, so there's no opening at the bottom. But what's a little bit different is this one has a little bit more of like an ergonomic design. It kind of molds to your hand a little bit better, has like a place, like a little more of a handle here. For 
versus a Stanley is just sort of straight down. So we'll compare how these feel a little bit later, but that's kind of just how that stacks up. And then down here at the bottom, it just says SM again. This is the bottom of the cup. Nothing super fancy there. As far as the aesthetics are concerned, I actually think I like this cup a bit better. It is just very sleek. It comes in a lot of different colors. And when this is removed, there's nothing there. I'll show you that a bit later, but everything is just like, it's so sleek. It's so nice. It's minimalistic versus the Stanley is a bit sportier. I do think that the Stanley cup is very aesthetic. I think if you're someone who cares a lot about brands, it's cool that it's Stanley and it has like the Stanley logo, but this is a bit more sporty. It's a bit more rugged. This brand is like a traditional camping kind of rugged brand, like made to last. And so I think the design is a bit reflective of that versus this one is a little bit like chiller, you know, I kind of really like this one. All right, next we're gonna do a deeper dive at the Reduce. This one has a different lid system. It's also a three in one, so it's like a little bit more similar to the Stanley in that way. Basically right here is the sip lid. So right now as it is, the straw is just in there. One thing I'll note is that this one has a little thing at the bottom, like a little catcher at the bottom so the straw won't fall out versus the Simple Modern is not like that. I don't know if you saw that, but this is like silicone. And then the Stanley, as you may know, kind of just comes completely out as well. So that's something that's a little bit unique about this one is it has that little catch all thing there. And then if you have it in this position, this is like the Stanley when you have it turned so it's completely closed. When you open up this part, this is the position that it calls the drink because you just like drink through here. And then when you open up this part, it's saying it's the gulp. I'm not really sure how that works, but I guess more liquid comes out and it somehow works that way, I don't know. So this one is vacuum insulated, sweat proof. It has a little grippy at the bottom where it's like soft to help with chips and it tracks your hydration goals. So this is something interesting interesting that neither of the other ones have is on the inside there are lines and I don't know how well you're going to be able to see these but it has lines for 8, 16, 24, and 32 ounces but it also shows that in milliliters. So I think that's kind of neat if like filling up your second or third bottle like you don't need the full cup to get your water goal you can kind of be more specific like only fill it up to the eight ounce and then you know how much you're drinking. I think that's really neat. The next thing to note that's a little bit different is while the other two kind of screw on this one just pops down so it has a little bit of this what is that, silicone, I guess? I'm not sure. It's probably easiest of all of them, and it's kind of nice because the straw in this one is in the center. So these ones, it matters a little bit more, like how you have it because of where the straw is positioned, but this one doesn't. For example, you're if you're holding it this way, the straw is close to me for drinking, but you wouldn't want the straw to be like on this side when you're holding it like this, versus if you had it left-handed, it would be in the right position. Same thing with the Simple Modern, but with this one, no matter how you're holding it right-handed or left-handed, the straw is directly in the center so it's easy for sipping. Down the center you see it says reduce in silver. One thing that's majorly different about this one is the handle is open at the bottom. So whereas the other two are closed at the bottom, this one has that little opening. So I suppose it's a little bit different. We will talk about how these feel later when we do that comparison. This does not come off. I know it looks like it might because there are some that have attachments, but this one is stuck on there and this is the bottom. And yeah, that's pretty much it for how this one looks. The top is clear versus these two are kind of not clear. And as far as aesthetics, this one is a lot more chunky, so it's shorter than the other one. Hi friends, it has been weeks since I filmed the first portion of the video. A little guilty here, but it's honestly been a really good thing because I've had time to personally be able to test all three cups, kind of compare them. So now I think I have a lot better perspective and I have my own opinions on the cups and so I can give you kind of which one I think is the best as well. And so the first topic that I wanna address today is the cup's ability to hold ice and to stay cold. Cause I know that is really important to us, especially since it's summer and we'll be using these cups out in our cars, at the beach, tanning by the pool, when we really need them to stay cold the most. I'm not gonna lie to you, I've tried to do this ice test so many times and I've tried it a bunch of different ways and basically I was just waiting longer than I wanted to for like the time frames, and so I just didn't film the video. But basically these are the ways that I tried it. I tried it with ice and water out in my car because of the sun. I tried it in my house with water and without water, just ice in the cups. And so what I did is yesterday at 10.34 in the morning, I filled every single one of these cups up completely to the top with water. So with their full 40 ounces and I put the exact amount of ice cubes in them. So before with my other test, I actually counted how many ice cubes. This time I kind of just did like one, 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 one until it was a lot of ice in there and they were both completely full to the top. As of right now, all three cups are completely full to the top, 40 ounces of water. And as of yesterday at 1034, they all had ice. So I wanted to do a 24 hour test and just see how the ice would last. I, I have some interesting results here. I'm interested to hear if you all have different experiences, but I'm here to share what my tests have 
concluded over multiple different tests. So this is what the cups claim to do. The Simple Modern claims to stay cold for 24 plus hours. The Stanley claims to stay cold for 11 hours and to hold ice for two days. And the Reduced claims to keep hold for 40 hours. So the only one of these at all that claims to keep ice in the bottle is the Stanley, which claims to keep it for two days. So I did a 24 hour period, 1034 yesterday, I put ice and water in the bottles. I left them on my kitchen counter, 1036 today. So literally like 24 hours later, I checked and every single one of them, the ice was out. There was no ice. This was the same results I got every other time when I did it in the car, when I did it without water. Every time that I did this, there was no ice left. Now, I don't know if this had something to do with the amount of ice. Maybe I wasn't putting a lot of ice, but I put a decent amount of ice. I would say probably like that much each time, like a layer of that much ice and it was all gone. And I mean, honestly, pretty quickly, like I'm going to put the lids on, but I just want to say like, already simple modern is holding a lot but just from like the temperature of the house these are almost melted so i don't know if i should add more i feel like i should add more yeah but anyways these are holding up a lot better than these two with the lids open when i checked 24 hours later all the ice was gone every single time but as i was putting the ice in i did notice that the ice stayed the least long in the reduce it seemed to melt almost immediately whereas with the simply modern it seemed to last the longest and then the stanley was somewhere in the middle as far as the stanley claiming to keep ice for two days in my experience with each of the tests that i conducted that was not the case so if you all have had different experiences and your ice is keeping your stanley let us know in the comments below how that that happens because I'm sure we would all like to know that. So as far as keeping ice, eh. One thing that I think is interesting is that the Stanley claims to keep ice for two days, but it only claims to be cold for 11 hours. And in my mind, if there's ice, it's gonna be cold. So I am gonna test right now how the water feels. And I've done this with my other tests. I haven't done this today. So I have a pretty good idea of which ones are gonna be the coldest, but I wanna check with you and we'll see. We're not gonna be overly scientific about this. I'm gonna taste each one and I'm going to dip my finger in and we're gonna see which one feels the coldest if any of them are colder than the others, etc. So the first we're going to do is the reduce. It is definitely cold, okay? Let's give a little taste. It's cold, not the coldest, okay? It's not like ice cold. The Stanley is much colder, I will say. That is like when you jump into a freezing cold pool, like a really cold pool. It doesn't taste as cold as it feels, but it, it's still, still cold, I'm impressed. The Simply Modern feels the coldest. It for sure feels the coldest. I'd say it tastes the coldest too. Anyways, I know that's not the most scientific way, but that is the results that I observed before, just that the Simply Modern stays the coldest, then the Stanley, then the Reduce. So now we're gonna move on to one that's very important, and this is, are any of them more comfortable than the others and the actual weight themselves? So first we're gonna weigh them, and I'm gonna show you. So I have my little food scale here. We'll put it on fluid ounces, so each one's supposed to hold about 40 ounces of water, and so we'll just see the weight. First up, we have the Stanley. The Stanley weighs in at 65.7 fluid ounces, so we see that that's 25.7 fluid ounces. Oh, over the water weight. So that's what you would be carrying. Next, we're gonna try the Simply Modern cup. Put that puppy on the scale. That one came in a little bit lighter at 60.3 fluid ounces. And lastly, we're going in with the Reduce. And this one weighs in at a whopping 61.0 pounds. Based on the weight, it seems that the Stanley weighs in at the heaviest, and then the Reduce, and then the Simply Modern is the lightest. Now we're gonna talk about handle comfort when the cups are full. So we already talked about this in my full review of the Stanley. I said that I thought that it was a bit heavy heavy. And the reason why this is important and the reason I wanted to talk about it is because the main selling point of these kind of cups and the reason that we're comparing them all is really that they have this handle. That's like the big selling point. And also people like that it's 40 ounces, which is a lot of water. So you don't have to fill up as many times. However, when the cup actually has 40 ounces in it, I find that the Stanley's pretty heavy. Is it too heavy that you can't carry it around? No, absolutely not. But if I'm holding it like this unsupported, I do find that there's a little bit of a strain on my wrist. It's just not overly comfortable. It's not overly easy easy to hold. When you're considering that you're going to be carrying a lot of things, it matters that the weight is there because you're not just going to have this cup. You're going to have your purse and your lunchbox or whatever else. So I find that when I'm carrying it, I kind of carry it like supported when I'm walking around the house, which is fine. But I do think that defeats some of the purpose of having a handle is when you need to like have extra things to carry it. As we talked about earlier, this one has this very rectangular base. So to hold it, I mean, you kind of just grab on, you kind of have to hold it here. You can't really hold it like anywhere else. You kind of hold it right in the middle and it's 
comfortable. It doesn't mold to your hand or anything. Like it's fine. I just, I do think it's a bit heavy. The Simply Modern is a little bit different because it has this little bit of an ergonomic design, but it's flat on the outside like the Stanley is, but on the inside it has that little curve, which is what I was talking about, the kind of the curve of the inside of your hand. And when you're carrying it, I do think you feel that and I personally do think it helps. This one is just as much water in it as a Stanley. It's both 40 ounces. They're both full. And this feels a lot lighter to me. And as we just weighed in, it definitely is a little bit lighter. I do feel a little bit of strain, I guess, if I'm paying attention like right here. So maybe I would carry it like this a bit more. Next is a reduced and it's different because it doesn't have the closure at the bottom. So I didn't know if that would actually make a difference. So I was interested to see. I think it definitely does. When you grab it, I don't think how you grab it changes because you do kind of just go in like from the side, but something about it not having the support down here, I think makes the bottle feel a lot heavier. Now, as we know, this one is only slightly heavier than the Simply Modern, but I feel this feels the heaviest of all of them. It's definitely a heftier cup than the other ones. It's shorter, but it's just kind of rounder, but it just, I feel a lot more of the weight in this one. Even though the Stanley weighs more, I feel that when I'm holding this one, I feel more of a strain. I'm actually going to sit them down because it's just not overly comfortable. As far as how the cup holds, which is one of the main factors, I do think this one is by far the least comfortable. As far as height and size is concerned, the Simply Modern is the tallest, followed by the Stanley, followed by the Simply Modern. And knowing that they all hold 40 ounces, each one of those gets a little bit rounder. So the Stanley is a bit rounder than the Simply Modern and the Reduce is the widest cup of all. This doesn't make so much of a difference from the perspective of they all hold the same amount of water and they all fit in your cup holder. So really, I think that's more of a matter of personal preference for aesthetics. I personally think the Simply Modern is very sleek and very nice. And that would be my top pick regarding that. When you're comparing the straws, they fall into the same order as the height of the cups. So this one over here is a Simply Modern. And as you can see, it's the longest. So even to the Stanley, this one is a bit longer. And then the middle one, the clear one is the Stanley. And then the top one is a Simply Modern. So you can see the height difference that it's significantly shorter. And this one just has this little bevel at the end because the straw can't just like pull straight up as these two can. Now for the moment you've all been waiting for, we're gonna do the leak test. This is important because with the Stanley, the first version, a lot of people were complaining that it spilled a lot. So they tried to improve it with the second edition. In our first video, we did a leak test there. We'll do another one here just to give a little reminder, kind of see how it does today. And then we'll compare it to the others and see how it does. Now, I don't know how often as adults, we are actually physically tipping our bottles completely over to the side, but this is just a leak proof test just to see if you did, how it would leak. I know this is an extreme scenario, but this is the topic of conversation around these bottles. So we do just want to see how they compare so that you can make an informed decision. So the first thing that I did is I made sure to dry off all the bottles. That way we didn't see any droplets just from the outside. So they're all completely dry. Now with the Stanley, it has the different kinds of lids. So you can see that in this position, it has the position where there's a space for the straw to go. So this is how you would be using it. So we're gonna see how it would spill if you dropped it. So we just were doing it completely tipped over. So we will see. Whoa. Okay, that was a lot. The thing about it is, I think with the other one, I took the straw out. In real life, if you were carrying this, you likely would have the straw in. That was a waterfall. Let's take this out, and we're just gonna see if I close this completely, how it is. So now it's in the completely closed position, and there's no straw. I don't know if you saw that there was some at the beginning. There's still some leaking. If I shake it, we have some droplets. So it's a lot better if you wanted to transport it to work, maybe keeping your straw in like your lunchbox or something and then carrying it like this. But if you spill it and your straw's in, that was a lot, that was intense. Did you guys see? Yeah, I mean, it just, it just pours out from the side. It pours out from the straw. That's kind of a disaster. Let's move on. Next up is the reduce. We have this one in the position where the straw is in and it's most secure hole and this part is closed. So this were if you were using it and it tipped over, just like we did first with the Stanley. Honestly, I think that did a lot better than the Stanley because I feel like the straw came out and it stuck there and most of the water was just coming through the straw hole and it was coming out kind of slow versus the Stanley, I feel like it was like leaking from the side. So I think on the leak test, this actually did better. Let's try it one more time. Yeah, that's really not bad. I'm kind of impressed. Now we'll do what we did with the Stanley where we'll take the straw out. We're gonna completely close this up. So there's this little flap right here, which puts it in a completely closed position. And let's see how this one does. That's pretty good. I hope you guys can see there's a couple droplets, but like right now, after those first few, not many, that's really good. 
really good. Last but not least, we have the Simply Modern. This only has one place that the straw can go. This is it, so let's give it a go. Okay, we have some leakage through the straw. This is, I would say, similar to the Reduce, where it just kind of trickles out, or maybe a little more than a trickle from the straw, but it doesn't come out from everywhere else in the bottle. Take the straw out. This is the closed position that it has. So it's kind of a, like a silicone seal. None! Wow! All right, that's pretty impressive. So I feel like someone's gonna come for me on this, but I mean, this is just from what I tried. This Simply Modern definitely is the best regarding leakage because when the straw's out, it doesn't leak at all. And it's just like a trickle from the straw if you completely dump the cup over. The Reduce would be second. Sorry guys, the Stanley wasn't what I would expect. It was a little bit worse with the leaking. Now they just say leak proof, but I'm just doing an experiment and you can make your own decision. As we wrap up this video, I'm gonna share my final thoughts and which cup that I feel is the best of all of them. That one for me definitely comes in at the Simple Modern Cup. Now you may have noticed, if you did, bonus points to you, that this one started out purple. In my first video, it was purple. Basically in the meantime, what had happened is my family came to visit and my mom saw that I had the purple cup and so she used it while she was here and she loved it so much, she went home and she bought this pink one and then she bought like this like really light, pretty like mintish green one and she has been absolutely loving them. So basically what we did is I preferred the pink, she preferred the purple, so we just like swapped them out. So this is the Simple Modern Cup still, but it is a pink one because she has my purple one. But specifically what I love about this is I just think it's really sleek. At first I didn't know without having like Stanley on it, like what I thought, but I do really love the minimalistic approach. I love that there's like this light pink, there's a light purple one, there's like a cream one, a cream like leopard one. I feel like they blend into your home more seamlessly. They blend into your life more seamlessly. I just think that they look really chic and really nice. Plus they're like a little bit more slender, a little taller. They are easier to hold in my opinion. I think that they feel a lot lighter than the Stanley and the Reduce. And I just think it's an overall really nice experience. This is something that I will definitely be using like any beach trips when I tan and things like that. And I want to keep a beverage cold. This is what I will be using like to keep my matcha, my iced coffee and whatever. Uh, this is the pick that I would go to. Also, as you saw in the leak test, it scores better on that in my opinion. So this one to me is supreme. My second choice is a Stanley. As we discussed, it is a bit more sporty, but the Stanley's a Stanley. This is what made us all fall in love with it. If you are somebody who really cares about the brand, and likes the fact that it's a Stanley. Stanley makes really high quality products. That hasn't changed. It's very nice. It keeps your water cold. It has this nice handle. Again, I think this one's a little less easy to hold, but it's still like, it's doable. Millions of people love them. This one has tons of colors, just like the Simply Modern does. Regarding the leak test, I think it personally scored the worst. And I do think that this one's the heaviest, but in my personal opinion, it's not often that I'm spilling my bottles like that. I mean, it fits in my cup holder and it's, it's not often that I'm carrying carrying my water bottle with a straw like this or completely knocking it over. Actually, that's never happened to me with these cups. So that's not a huge factor in that with me. I would definitely put the Stanley in a second. Another thing when you're comparing these two and like the reason that I would rank them that way is the Stanley's more expensive. This bottle is $50 and the regular one's 45 versus this one being $20 cheaper. I just think that this is the way to go. You could get two of them for the price of just this one in the soft mat. Lastly is the little reduce. Personally, I just don't like the aesthetic of this cup as much. It is nice because it has this like silicone bottom. So I do think it's more protected. I think that the Stanley and the Simply Modern could potentially chip because they just have like that hard bottom. I do think on the inside of the cup, it's nice that there's lines showing you like how much water is going in, how much I would actually use it. I don't know. All this extra gadgets. I feel like in life with things like this, I just want it to be simple. Like it's really nice that this is in the middle and you don't have to like work with the positions of the cup. I think with the other two, that could get kind of annoying. It's nice from that perspective, but it does have all these extra little flaps and leather levers. I don't know. I personally just don't think this one looks as nice. And I think that the handle isn't very nice. I think it's a lot heavier. It feels a lot heavier to hold than the other two do. And I don't think it keeps things cold as long. That wraps up my review on these cups. I really hope it was helpful. I tried to provide facts for you all, but then also some opinion. And I tried to provide some experiments so like you could see for yourself. So I wasn't just telling you which one does better. I was showing you which one does better. All products will be linked in the description box below in case you wanna check any of them out. And make sure to enter the giveaway. If you're watching the video, you might as well enter. You have two weeks from today. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel. Follow me on Instagram at with love Savannah, and then leave a comment below on this video. It can be regarding anything really. It could be whatever cup you like best. Comment on anything in the video, anything you want to say about your own personal experience or whatever you want. It doesn't matter. So just leave a comment. Following me on Instagram is really important because that is how I will contact the winner. That's all. May the odds be ever in your favor. I love you all so much. I will see you in the next one. Bye.